step into the ring for the fight of his life. And it's now that Anthony Mundine risks losing it all. With Hamden's career at 40 wins, he's ready to shock the boxing world. He wants what Mundine's got. A showdown 10 years in the making as Anthony Mundine continues his fight to stay on top. Live from the Sydney Entertainment Centre, Anthony the Man Mundine will defend his WBA Super Middleweight title against Lionheart Nada Handen. Mundine v Handen. Challenge accepted. And it's right now on Main Event Boxing. There is an air of expectancy at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. The atmosphere is absolutely electric as we approach the WBA Super Middleweight World Title bout between the man Anthony Mundine and Lionheart Nader Hamden. Nader Hamden almost ready to come out. What is going through his mind right now? Only moments before the fight. He, he's extremely excited. He knows this is the opportunity of a lifetime, and he knows, as he said, he's got to lay it all on the line. This is his. This is his chance. This is his chance of, to put his name in the record books as a world champion, and this will be the only chance Nader will get at 34 years of age. A well-deserved shot, and he is going to fight beyond. He's going to fight his heart out. Barry Michael, alongside Paul Briggs, our ringside experts for tonight's bout. It's been a long time in the making, but it has finally arrived, the world title bout for Nader Hampton, Paul. That's right, it's been over 10 years coming. These guys have known each other forever. Nader Hampton has fought some of the best fighters from around the world, and this is his opportunity tonight. Fantastic response for Nader Hamden. Yeah, a wonderful reception from this huge crowd at the Sydney Entertainment Centre welcoming Nader Hamden. A man that has thoroughly deserved this tilt at the world title. Well, let's have a look at the particulars of the two boxes. What does this tell us, Barry? Well, you know, they're both, uh, there's a couple of years in, in age. Nader's is a little bit older. Um, their weight's virtually identical because they both have to make 76 kilos. Chock's got a marginal, you know, two centimetre reach advantage, which is not not really ran. Uh, sorry, their heights is uh, two two centimetre taller height wise. Their reach is identical, so it's not really a factor reach wise. The speed and the evasive ability of Anthony Mundine is what what I think will be the telling factor. But Nader Hamden will try to put the pressure on and try and keep the fight up close. I think I think that's the game plan. Nader Hamden is awkward. He's awkward. He's, he's, he looks like a straight up and down boxer, but to stand in front of him and actually fight him, he is an awkward customer. So it's just going to be interesting to see how Anthony Medin handles that. Here are the rules for tonight's fight, scoring on a 10-point must system. The three knockdown rule is in effect. No standing eight counts. Can be saved by the bell only in the last round, and only the referee can stop the fight. Listen to that crowd chanting Nader. They are in good voice, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. Here comes the man. He is an entertainer. He is bigger than the sport itself, but at the end of the day, he is also a very, very professional, outstanding boxer. He's the greatest thing that's happened to Australian boxing in many, many years. He's uh, rejuvenated boxing. Everybody, you love him or you hate him, everybody's got an opinion on him. It's what boxing's about. And look at the people here, and look at every time he fights, he draws a big crowd at the venue and pay-per-view around Australia. What boxing's about. Paul, in, in an instant like this, where we've got two boxers that know each other very well, that uh, at other times would probably be pretty good friends. Is it easy to throw that aside when you have to come out and face off in the ring? Oh, yeah, it certainly is. I mean, this is... When you step in that ring, it doesn't matter if you're best friends, it doesn't matter if you've known each other for a hundred years. This is the sort of sport that just transcends it all. You get in there and you just it's just you and your opponent, nothing else matters. That's right. The bell goes and there's no friends in that ring. Well, he doesn't do things by halves, Anthony Mundine. As you said, he polarises opinions, Barry. Some of them love him and some hate him. You can hear the boos as his camp started to come out. But they're still here. They are here because they want to watch him. Exactly. Because they know he will put on a fight. He'll put a show on. Here comes the man now. Incredible amount 
the support too for the man. Pretty evenly divided here. There's the belt, the belt that is on the line, the WBA Super Middleweight World Title. And it is time now to get underway, Matty Campbell to introduce the fighters. I give you an instruction in the dressing room. Let's have a clean match. Good luck. Not much instruction needed there. All done and dusted. The preliminaries are over. Australians have won all of the preliminary fights. We know an Australian's going to win this one, but which will it be? Three defeats in the history of Anthony Mundine, Mikel Kessler, Manny Siaka and Sven Otke. Could Lionheart provide the fourth? It would be a massive upset. He looks in great shape. He certainly does. I've never seen him look in condition as good as this. Of all the fights we've done, Barry, this is the most support that Mundine has had for an opponent. There's a lot of people going for him here. There is. There definitely is. And there'll be a great deal of respect between these two guys as well. 
I think the first couple of rounds could tell a story. But as Paul and I have both said, Nate is a cagey customer with a good, good, good tool, good jab, pretty good power. Good defense. Yeah, good defense and a great chin. Paul, if Nader is to fight his own fight, what does he have to do? I think he's got to use those awkward angles that he's good at. Tie Mundine up, box him from the inside and the outside. He's got great defense, Nader Hamden, so it's not going to be as easy to hit as any of the previous opponents that, that Anthony Mundine has, has fought. He's also a great body worker, so... Yep. That's the best way to take away a fast man's speed, is to work his body. Mundine's jab is always one of his, uh, his greatest weapons, because it's just so fast. But so far, Nate has uh, you know, seemed to be, be blocking him well, or seeing him well, That's in right. his first minute of the first round. But that jab of Mundine is always a winner for him. Incredible hand speed. Good body shot from Anthony Mundine. First real solid exchange of punches midway through this first round. He's only been stopped the one time, Nader Hamden. A little bit of conjecture over that one as well. We certainly don't expect this fight to be over early. Exactly. It was in the, in the dying seconds, in the last 30 seconds of the 12th round against Abra Arthur Abraham in Germany. And Nader still disputes the stoppage. He was still on his feet. He wasn't off his feet. Mundine warned by referee Lewis Pabon. Just using game his game elbow. Game he wasn't happy with the, the chat. Okay, nobody throw, nobody throw. Nobody throw. Some serious body work in there in this opening round. At the moment, Nader Hamden is winning the round. He's been the more effective puncher, the busier puncher. There's certainly so nothing caught. in this round. We've got 30 mm. seconds to go and there's nothing in the round, I don't think. Not at all. Just got caught by a nice right hand by Anthony Mundy. Good jab there. Good body shot. Mundine trying to counter attack in close. Good left hook, left rip, left hook from Mundine. First time we've seen him come over the top of the right after Good a couple quick jabs. Mundine warming up late in this round. Looking for that right hand. That's that changed, that, Monday won the round for my money, Paul. The finish there, what do you think? He's not convinced, Barry. I, I'm not convinced, I call it even. Well, we're, we're scoring the bout here. We'll call the first round even. I think Monday would have just about pinched on the judges' scorecards. But we're gonna call that even. That's it. Left hook, left hook. Hand, hand. But a very interesting opening round. I think that, that, that series of combinations at the end would have, on the judges' scorecard would have pinched the round for Anthony Mundane. Made a hand and keen to get on with it. He certainly means business. Second round, the first one, very even indeed. Hamden comes out. Nader trying to get up close and work the body. Good tactics. Good little uppercut there from Chop. Oh, Mundine looking to give himself some distance. Nice left from Mundine. Hamden Ward on the gloves though. Nader's defence very tight. Beautiful right drive to body from Anthony Mundane. Followed up by right hand to the head. Good right hand there by Nader Hamden. I'm here, no holding. Break, break. 
Hands up. I'm here all the time, okay? Big uppercut from Monday, missing the mark. Just by a fraction. Yep. Nate has shown already he's here for business. He's here to try and win the title. And good shots from Monday, and up and down. And some Body real and speed. Hand. That's exactly what Mundine's got to do. He's got to keep Nader on the outside and chop him up. Okay, Nader's got to stay with his head on, on Mundine's chest and keep working from there. He does. It's a good right hand there by Mundine. Was well, a lovely short right hand inside. Listen, no, okay? Right hand caught on the gloves by Nader Hamden. His defence proving very tight. Good hook from Nader, but a good shot from Mundine. He fires back well. And Mundine stalking Hamden, but Hamden comes back. Come up! What's up? I'm here. Seeing a lot of right hands to the body of Mundine from Nader Hamden. That's right. Yeah. But I think he showed against Danny Green that he can take those body shots and fire back. He took some vicious shots from Green. Good, good punches from Mundine. The cleaner shots this round from the man. 30 seconds remaining, round two. Mundine on the attack. Hamden comes back. And getting the signals from his corner to hook the body on Mundine. Coming up to the bell. Good work, good work. Look, a good round. I give that round to Mundine. Yeah, yeah. turn on to Mundine. Yeah, just the cleaner shots. Nate is well in this fight, though. Just breathe, breathe, breathe. Suck it in. Right over, right over. Just breathe. I'll water you down. That was another beautiful round, brother. Another beautiful round. Nader, that right hook to the body is working perfect. Yeah. The right hook to the body is working perfect, Habib. In the, in the bucket. Okay. Yeah, oh, God. Keep I've that right hook brother, you know, all night. Nader, when you smother him in close, he doesn't like to fight on yeah. the inside. He's uncomfortable, you can see it. As soon as you back pedal, he looks comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Get that out of him. Okay. Keep yeah. smothering him. And you land that right hook to the body, the right reach, just come up and lift up, up the right reach. You land that right hook, yeah? Looking at the replays here, Stay Hakan Mundine landing Stay well down. underneath over the top. Seconds down, round three. Well, the instructions from Hamden's corner were very clear. Their intent on using that right hook to the body. They said keep it up all night. Yep. And keep. smothering his opponent, and that's what Nader Hamden is very good at, just smothering you. And that sort of fighting really wears you out. As we saw Anthony Mundine breathing heavy in the corner there. Good body punching here from both fighters. So you, this talk is about, the, you talk about that smothering, Paul. Every time there's a clinch, Hamden's busy. He's busy inside. He's not having a rest, he's working it. No, well, that's what he needs to do. The intensity is building now, round three. Good body shot. Vicious body shot. Monday short with his shots there too. Nada boxing well. Well, he's sticking to his plan at the moment. Defense is great. He's just making Anthony Monday miss with the hook. Three hooks in a row he missed with there. That jab didn't miss that. He jabbed brilliant. Monday oh. getting off the right to the big right hand. Couple of hooks and a right hand. Good shots there for Monday. I'm here, I'm holding, I'm holding. That overhand right 
that's a dangerous punch. Not concerned whatsoever. Oh, no. Nice. Mundine ripping to the body and following up with the right. And there's the jab. Five, six clean punches. Make it seven, Barry. Yep. Oh, here, I'm here. Okay. 30 seconds remaining. Round three of the scheduled 12. I'm here, I'm here. Nate has got to be first. Sporting Bet Australia had Anthony the Man Mundine very short at a dollar five head to head to win. Hamden at nine dollars. They don't give him much of a chance. Mundine on points, three dollars. Hamden on points, thirty-one dollars. Mundine by KO a dollar forty. Hamden by KO twelve dollars. There's the bell to end round two, bringing the crowd to their feet. How did you see that round, gentlemen? I think Mundine pinched it, but I'll tell you what, Nate is well in this fight. And, you know, it's still early doors. What do you think, Paul? Just those, just those, those cleaner shots. Three rounds into the fight. I know you've been having a keen look at every break at Anthony Mundine in the corner. Is there a fitness concern for you? No, not a fitness concern. It's just the styles. Styles make fights. And Nate Hamden's style is one that really drains you and zaps you of energy. And these are the sort of things that, that if you're not used to, this is what can lose your fight. Yep. I'm not saying that's happening to Anthony Monday. I'm just saying it is possible. Especially in the later stages of a fight. That's right. You know, this is a war of, this could be a war of attrition, this. That's right. And that's where Nader Hamden's 40-odd fights experience is going to come into play. Mate, he beat Porky Lovett last year in Melbourne in a war of attrition in a stinking hot night just with his experience and his game plan. Just dead, got him over the line, and that's what he's trying to do here to win the world title. Oh, good left hook from Nada Hamden. Certainly, each time at the start of each round, he comes out looking to get the dominance in the round early. Look, trying to mate, assert himself. Nada means business. Oh. Oh. Sensing something here. Lovely left hook from Mundane. Nada lunging into his left hook. There's a clean jab. Nader got a beautiful jab too, but Mundine's is just that bit faster. Two, two great boxers here. Two very competent fighters. Here, clean fight, clean fight. I take it out. I'll tell you what, Anthony Mundine's got to watch out for that overhand right. He showed against Porky Lovett on that very hot night last year. Oh, vicious left hook from Mundine. Good tight defence though from Nader Hamden. Blocking a lot of these shots. It looked like Mundine just having a word to the referee then. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was about. He's saying Nader was pushing him with his forearm. Short right, but Nader's defence proving very good. Okay, nobody throw, nobody throw, nobody throw. Final minute of the round, and again, very tight contest here. There's not much in it. No. But, you know, I, I, I just you know tend to think that Mund Anthony Mundine's cleaner shots. Definitely. Grab the eye of the judges, and he does. He, he's, he's doing some great stuff. Body shots, even though they're effective, they don't seem to catch the eye of the judges as much. In this fourth round in particular, it's that left hook of Mundine that seems to be working for him. Landed a couple of good left hooks, but oh, Nate big shot. From... There's that overhand right, Barry. Yeah, Stings Mundine, Mundine back though. This is a ripper of a fight. Another right hand by Nader Hamden. 20 seconds to go. I hear, I hear, clean fight. 
Oh, nice left hook. Now Landon's got to stay tight with his defense. No, look, I, it's got to be another Mundine round. Just the cleaner shots. Nate is right up there on top of him. You know, it's, there's not much in the rounds. Mundine's winning him with his cleaner shots. No <laughs> For that round, I'd actually tend to lean more towards Nader. Nader landed some hands quality hands shots in that round, up through he's the he's middle he's of the round. Nader, my brother. You think Nader won the round? Well, I thought, I thought, I thought Nader did enough to at least make it an even round because he caught... Caught Mundine with some quality shots. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, but also, you know, top five back with a lot of good quality shots. That's right. We should be counting these punches. Like the right there's of... one, there's two, there's three. Quality fight, though. We can't let him, we gotta sit off him and let him box us. All right? <laughs> Oh, Ooh, big right hand. Munzee on his toes and dancing. Once again, Hamden comes back, looking for the body. Little uppercut right. underneath. Oh, no. Vicious strike to the side. But I tell you, as I said, Danny Green hit Anthony Mundine with some vicious body shots that would have crippled the average bloke. Uh, he conditions himself well. Bit of swelling on the left eye of Nader Hamden yeah, there. Just notice that. Just starting to mark up there. He collects another one in the same spot. The question is, Paul, can, can he keep his defence for the entire 12 rounds? That's what it's about. It's about keeping tight, keeping things going the way they're meant to. As soon as you start getting sloppy or lazy, things not quite the same defence-wise, that's when you're going to get caught. It's when you're going to be found wanting. That eye doesn't look too good, actually, you know. Not afraid to lead with that right either, Mundine, is he? He does possess just devastating gun speed. Good right from Nader Hamden. Great right yeah. hand by Nader Hamden. And in close, connecting with the left. Mundine pushes away. Hamden over the top again. Vicious overhand right by Hamden. That eye's not looking good. I think it's bleeding. Vicious right hand. Look at that eye. I think it's just not looking good, that left eye. Big hits by Mundine. Vicious punching. In his corner. 40 seconds to go in round five. Hamden feeling some pressure. Comes back at Mundine again. Dish is over, trying that overhand right again. Mundine's superior hand speed and pinpoint punching is holding him in good stead here. Nader whacking away to the body. Certainly the best round of the fight thus far and some of the biggest hits. Definitely. Quality fight. Oh, there's that right hand again. Nader's shipped some big right hands this round. Remaining seconds, and there it is, a terrific round, round five. And once again, Barry Michael likes it for Monday in 10 9. Definitely, definitely clean headshot there. Nader weathered some serious punishment in the corner a couple of times. I don't think, think there'd be any yeah, dispute in that view, Paul. No, not at all. Some of the action from the, a terrific round. Mundine just trying to land that right over the top. Well, Paul, if we 
we've seen the last four rounds probably go the way of Anthony Mundine. What does Nader Hander need to do to turn it around? Momentum just starting to go with Mundine now. He needs to really land, he needs to hurt shock is what he needs to do. He needs to get a couple of big bombs through to bring him back into it. Solid body work, coming over with solid right hand and frustrate the hell out of shock, tie him up. He's doing a great job, Nader Hander, but you've got to give Anthony Mundine credit. His defence is good. Um, he's, you know, he's, he's worn all the native shots well so far. Oh, good good man. Man. Good As good he has man. done every round, he's come out I to try to and impose himself early, Nader Hamden. Yep. Speed from Mundy. Powerful shots. You're lucky it's not blood yet, Jason. <laughs> you know, I've sweat thus far. Copying the sweat from the, from the punches that are ripping into Nader Hamden's head and body. In the neutral corner, right above us. And Nader fires back. Again with the right to the oh, body of Mundine, yeah. just a little while on the chin. While I think of it, Anthony's father, Lynn Mundine, wants to send a cheerio to her sisters, Jean and Kerry, and brothers Rex, David and Peter. And a happy 50th anniversary to Auntie May and Uncle Alan from Cairns, Queensland, from Lynn Mundine. I hope I got that right, Lynn. <laughs> That's the sort of defense we've got to see from Nader Hamden. They don't call him Lionheart for nothing. Oh, oh, man. He's trying to chop the tree down. He said he needed to land some big shots, Paul. That's what he's trying to do. That's right. He's got to get out of that corner. Mundine. Determined to keep him there, he's away. His tape's undone on his glove, Mundine. They're going to have to stop the fight to tape it up, I think. 120 to go, round six. Double left hook from Nader Hand, a little yeah. overhand right there. There it is. Calling time. So, time out to fix up that right glove of Anthony Mundine. While I've got a second, well, the crowd don't like it, but it's good, it needs to be done. Jamie Meyer presenting a big super middleweight uh, oh, oh. trying to fight in the Southport RSL Friday the 7th of March. Les Sherrington versus Chaz Tiger. The way the break was on, the crowd has lifted in support of Nader Hamden. Well, the Hamden corner signalling to a, a large bunch of fans to get vocal. Yeah, get him in it. Support. What great support for a local world title fight. Oh. Feet, your feet. Brother, some big punches have been thrown this round. With the sort of defense that Nader Hamden has, that's it. I'd love to see Chock start oh. using the uppercut. Chock's doing everything everything he can to get, you know, penetrate the defense of Nader and, you know, being very successful with some of his shots. That's the defining thing for me in this, is the cleaner shots from Chock. That's right. You know, Nader's throwing lots of quality leather. You can score this round, Paul. <laughs> about to be halfway. Nader under pressure in the corner. Just missing with the uppercut and trying to follow up Mundine. We are halfway in this World Championship bout. I think I think Chuck finished stronger in that round. He's finishing stronger. He's landing the cleaner shots. And look, you know, it's 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 a very competitive fight. I mean, we've given Nader the, the, before the first <laughs> round even, <laughs> and every other he's round, he's round Anthony Mundine, it seems a bit unfair in a fight that is so competitive, but it is it's reality that, that, that uh, the sharper punches and the cleaner punches are coming from shock. Unfortunately, you've got to score the, the, the rounds 10-9, 10-9, so when you add that up by the end of the fight, you've got a huge gap there, you could have 10 point difference, so really the fight that doesn't translate into actually how the fight really is. Exactly. It looks a lot closer, but the product of that system is that all of a sudden, hand and knees do something special. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Right. That's if not a knockdown, or a knockout to win it. Yep. Well, he's halfway through the fight, he certainly needs to start winning rounds. I mean, we're pointing, we're pointing very closely towards the shutout, and this is by no means what pointing you're towards the shutout. Yeah, no, exactly. Good respect shown between the two boys. Nader firing away. Oh, 
Down here, watch your head, watch your head. Keep your head, keep your head. Ooh, oh, good right, catches Hamden. And again. And a big right from Mundine. Right? On the nose of Nader Hamden. And once again, Hamden starts well, but Mundine puts him back in his place. He does. Nader lands a good... A good volley of shots oh. like that, body shots. Good body shots. Then, then Chuck comes back and lands the pinpoint head shots. And look, that's what that's what it's about. I mean, a long, long time ago, someone said to me, "You get hit once, you hit them three times back. That way, you know you'll get the decision. Well, you should get the decision at the end of the fight." You well, should. That's, that's should. exactly what Mundine's doing. Every time he exactly. has a good patch, he comes Mundine back. ups the ante. He does, and that's what you've got to do. And that's where your gym work and your training and your conditioning all come into play. Good body, good body shot. Oh, that was a good right hand from Nader Hamden. That was one of his better right hands. Mundine was loading up, but Hamden saw it coming and he did. He's back doing, out of that corner. Doing well this round so far. I'm here, I'm here. We play again. with that bomb. He's hurt. Mundine wants to finish him he right is here. Hurt. He's waiting to get he... that right to connect. But Hamden gets out of jail. Oh, man. Is this a fight or what? The crowd's going crazy. Nader was winning this round up until that flurry, I reckon. That's right. 30 seconds left in this seventh of 12 scheduled rounds. Nader hand and breathing out of the mouth. Mundine making him miss. But it's the first real sign of, of real confidence or any sort of showmanship at all we've seen from Monday tonight. Right. Let's take it seven rounds. He's, he is under pressure. He knows he's in a hell of a fight, you know. Nader's laying it all on the table. But perhaps it's also the first indication that he now feels in control of the fight, Barry. Well, he definitely had Nader in a lot of trouble. Nader was winning that round until he got hit with that right hand in his own corner, and he was he was dead set in trouble. He was the most hurt that either fighter had been in the fight, and you know Nader was, was seriously hurt there, well, I thought. That's a couple of occasions now where Hamden's been in a position to win a round, but has been unable to see it out. Yep. Yep. Look at the experience of Nader Hamden at the end there. Nader Hamden, as he's got his head movement, he's making it very, very hard for Chuck. Even though Nader's hurt, he's making it very, very hard for Chuck. Finish it, Chuck. Round eight. Round eight. Stiff left hand from Nader, but Chock comes back, throws three jabs and a little right hand, and again. Hamden trying to push Mundine into a corner. Mundine picking him off though. Looking for that opening. Chopping with the right hand. Oh, big, man. big punches from Mundine, but just enough glove there defensively from Hamden. There's a good left hook there by Nader Hamden. It just came around the glove. It came around the guard of, of Chuck Mundine. Landed flush. So a little bit of cheeky cockiness there. Just a bit of cheeky. Yeah. Clean fight, clean fight. Clean fight, clean fight. Clean fight, clean fight, okay? 
referee calling for a clean fight, and it, it is a clean fight. It's, it's real good stuff inside. It's good. Nice little overhand right. Oh, that, that Nader went straight back to the ropes after popping that one. Went into his defensive pose. And Mundine has certainly sensed it. Another right hand from Mundine. Hamden hanging on grimly. Now there's a lot of blood coming from that cut. And the Hamden crowd willing him back into the contest. How tough is this man? Look at this. Is this condition and hard or what? Nader Hamden, the lion hearts. What a fight. Nader's eye, blood coming from the eye. Mundane with the right hand. And Nader. the crowd on their feet. Nader copping a lot of headshots there. Seconds remaining, round eight. The Mundine camp want it over and they want it over now. But this look at Hamden. Hamden, lying hard, he's all hard. Just when you think it's over, he just keeps on coming back. Good sportsmanship. A lot of respect. Man, are the, are the paying, paying public getting their money's worth here or not? Terrific round. Another awesome round. Well, you mentioned value for money, Barry. I'm sure all our viewers on Foxtel and Ostar and Fox Sports and the pubs and clubs would be thoroughly enjoying this bout here. Uh, it's plenty of work for the corner of Nader Hamden to do. Yep. He copped a bit in that round. And the unfortunate thing from Nader Hamden's perspective is he's landing his share of punches, but no heavy ones. That's right. But it only takes one punch to turn a fight, fight around. There's an old saying, Jason, you're always only one punch in disaster. Well, we saw that in a couple of the earlier fights yeah. where one punch nearly changed exactly. things around when a fight was certainly going all one way. I've seen it on many occasions where a fighter can be totally dominant and one punch just changes the whole thing. And one thing that Mundine did do in that round was when he saw the cut on the face, he tailed it. He, he hit did. it three, four, That's five right. times in a row. Four rounds remaining. And many people came here tonight expecting it to go the distance. Well, it's what I sort of tip that it'd go the distance and, you know, Nader would fight his heart out. He's doing himself proud, he's getting his, his opportunity to win the world title. And Look, the fight's not over by a long shot. Anything can happen in the fight game. We've got four rounds left in this fight. Exactly. Consecutive right hands being landed by Anthony Mundine. Nader looking a little bit weary here. There didn't look to be too much thing in those. No, he continues to work, but not doing damage with them. Yeah. Certainly the body shots aren't having as, as much effect as they did in the early rounds. As you'd expect, as Mundine comes back with a, a look, good left from Hamden. Good hook from Hamden. Oh. Right hand flush on Nader's team. He turns shock around, a good move. Oh, big overhand right, he's trying. Oh. Great camera work here. This is, this is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a real great spectacle here. The beast in the business, our main event cameraman. Oh, for sure. Getting a, some great angles. And these two warriors are showing what the sport of boxing's about. What a quality world title fight. It is. Back to the contest and the crowd feet.
incredible timing by Anthony Mundine. But again, the face cut starts to bleed for Hamden. Both boys right above the commentary position, warring on the inside. It's grueling for our viewers, it's grueling and it's hard work up there. We're in the ninth round. Both fighters, you get when you with your conditioning, you get beyond exhaustion, don't you, Paul? That's right. And you're in a world of your own up there. It's hard to explain. Oh! That's another slip. A slip. Did get hit at the same time, but it was a slip. Slip on the paint. The, the, the painted logo is what caused the slip. A couple of slips in that round, but we are three quarters of the way through. And how did you mark the round as Barry he just looks at Paul and says, your turn. <laughs> Look, pretty much the same, I'd say. Actually, that was a closer round. We're going to give that 10 10. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I just need a breather for a second. <laughs> Paul Briggs gave that round 10-10, didn't you? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, look, this is a great fight. It is a great fight. I mean, the scorecard doesn't represent what a, you know, tough, con closely contested fight it is. Mundine's hand speed and his evasion, dominant, but great work. Great work by Nader Hamden. You said there'd be some blood flying around, Barry. Well, we I've are, got the first drop on my run sheet right in front of me. Yeah, we can't well, get yeah. any more up close and personal than that. <laughs> Welcome to boxing, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, we have him in, the, in our laps, come out of the ring, man in the lap, in our laps. Look at Nader, he's looking pretty worse three, three rounds to go, he would need a knockout to win the fight, and you just worry that he possesses the power for such a blow. He needs a knockout to win, he certainly does. Referee Luis Pabon, concerned about two slips in that last round, just washing down the sponsor logos where it gets slippery. They do force slippage, I've seen it many times. And we're away for round 10 now. This is the sort of fight that uh, Anthony Mundy needs right now. This you know, is exactly the sort of fight that he needs. Couldn't agree more. What he, you know, after the bicep tear in the eye, it's exactly what he needs. And, and if you if you were building a boxer from the ground up, you wouldn't mind starting with the grit and determination of Nader Hamden. Oh, oh, without doubt, incredible. He's a fighter through and through. Oh, good right hand by Nader Hamden. Excellent right hand. Left hook by Anthony Mundine. Evens up the score. Two Snapping. consecutive right hands. Snapping right hands. Lead lead right hand. Good body shot by Nader Hamden. Slapping left hook. Not a whole lot in it. Mundine being chased in this round. Hamden certainly more, the more dominant ring position. It definitely looks like he's almost found a second win there, yeah. Hamden. I think Chuck might be having a breather. <laughs> you know, he knows he's well ahead on the scorecards, I'm sure. Nader pressuring, put, you know, keeping the pressure on, finding it hard to land the clean scoring shots though. Inside the last minute, and certainly this a very difficult round to score. Well, Nader's probably winning this yeah. round at this stage. But I think Chock's taken the foot off the pedal, but he's here, he's ra ramping it up now. Yeah. He does tend to time it well, doesn't he? He, he does, comes he with does. the momentum at the end of the round. Yeah, very, very, you know, good percentage fighter. <laughs> 20 seconds, Nader frustrated. 
frustrated with the, his inability to land cleanly. The shot goes up and down, lands the jab. Hayden Nass yelling out, come on, Chuck. Ten rounds down. Two Gentlemen. to go. A good round for Nader Hand. Was a good round for Nader Hand. And I think, look, we've got to give Nader a round. You know, like, he pressured. He, he put most of the pressure on. I, I really think Chuck took, took, took his foot off the pedal. But we're going to give that round to Nader Hand. And Barry, you know how hard it is this late in the fight to take your foot off the pedal and then put it back on. It's OK. Halfway through the fight, it's OK. At the beginning of the fight, it's OK. Just over halfway through the fight. But once you get into these championship rounds, which we are now in, 11 and 12, it's very hard to put your foot back on the gas. What are you telling me? Are you telling me we're seeing a change in the fight? Get to the head again. Head body head. I don't think so. I believe what you're saying. I agree with you. I think Chuck is having a rest. But what I am saying is, is it is very hard to then come back on with any substantial, significant... This round's going to be very, very important. It is. This is where Chuck's going to take off. He's got to lift the game, game here again. He's been dominant in all the early rounds. He took the foot off the pedal in round 10 there. The jab from hand and just landing. Monday. Incredible hand speed. Nader firing back. Oh! Nice work from hand and it goes down to the body once again. Nader fighting his heart out. Trying to collect Mundino's backpedaling. Mundine goes, come on, come on. I saw him do this against Kessler when he was under pressure against Kessler. Showed me that he had the medal that you have to have. Look at this. What a fight. We've only been going just over a minute in this round. They have put everything into it. Will it be the crucial round? Round 11. Nader looking weary. Fought his heart out in the first minute. Anthony Mundine still looking fairly sharp. One minute 13. Good jab. Good feigning there by Anthony Mundine. Short right hand. Uppercut left to by Nader hand and the lands. Still anyone's round. Nader fighting hard. <laughs> Tapping with the right hand, opening, making himself an opening. 30 seconds remaining, nothing in this round, Paul. What do you think? Nothing at all. It's tip for tap. It's outstanding as they stand toe to toe once again. Both boys tired, Nader's feeling the pinch, so is Chock. Chock finishing the round well. Goes with his couple of right hands. He's just gonna get in the round. Nader fires back himself. Chopping right hand over the top. I can't see the rest in the way. <laughs> Doesn't matter, Barry, we are going to the Good final round. round. The crowd on their feet here at the Entertainment Centre. Two men from Sydney. Who's round? Pretty even that round. It was even round, I call it even. Pretty even round, seesawing. Had him gone, had him real and then drop. That's what they did. Suck him in, Chuck. Coming up to the 12th and last round. This has lived up to everything I thought it would live up to. 
Just right in the Some of the vision from that round. Every time Mundine tries to get handed into the corner, he's able to get away. Look, while I just quickly. We've got to send a cheer out to Errol McCoy for watching the fight. Up in Queensland with Noel Thornbury, the great old TV ringside fighter, Errol McCoy. G'day, Errol. I hope you're well, mate. Last round as the fighters embrace the WBA. Super middleweight world title bout. Once again, a problem with the taping of Anthony Mundine's right glove. Round day long. Nothing like short of a miracle from overhand in here, Barry. Yeah, you're right, you're right, Jason. He needs a miracle. He's showing he needs an incredible knockout. intestinal fortitude. He's, it has just been pure guts and, and self-determination. He's driven himself and he's given everything he's got. He's a beautiful man, Nader Hamden. He was a lovely, lovely fellow. He is. And boxing turned his life around. As it has done many guys. Anthony Mundine's got to watch the elbows there. Nader Hamden just working away, working Dropping away. Him. Not throwing really hard shots, but they're still shots, and he just keeps on them. Oh, Pull. vicious right hand from Mundine. Maybe Mundine. a step back and cop a right hand <laughs> like that. Are there any thoughts of Mundine to finish the fight, or does he box conservatively in the final round when you're this far ahead? No, no, he's going to try and put him away. I know what Chuck's like. He wants to, he likes to knock out. He's, he wants to win impressively. He certainly is now. Two big right hands on the way into the corner. Impressive opening minute. Nader nods in agreement. The warrior Nader Hamden. Lovely little uppercut from Chock. Look, I just hope that Nader's got a big payday out of this. Great opportunity. You can tell his kids he's gone the distance in a world title fight against one of the greatest we've seen in this country. One of the greatest athletes, boxers, as Nader said. Forty-five professional fights, stopped just once, trying to make it. Forty-five out of forty-six. He's got not, a minute twenty to go. He's not going to be stopped here tonight. I'm no, telling you. No, no way. Undine begs to differ. A minute Quarter remaining. Corner. One minute to go. What a treat for this big crowd here at the Entertainment Centre. 40 seconds. And they are still at it. Nader Hamden just working away, working away. Oh, nice hook. Hamden almost slipping over, but comes back as he collected a right from Mundine. Ten seconds remaining. What a fight this has been. Fantastic fight. Fantastic for the viewers. in trouble in the corner. The bell's got to go. Where's the bell? There's the bell. Absolute pandemonium here at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. An amazing display from Anthony Mundine and Nader Hamden. An incredibly courageous display. Large sections of the crowd chanting Nader Hamden's name, appreciative of the effort that he's put in tonight. They couldn't possibly think that he'd won it, I wouldn't think. They must know that he's lost a fairly comprehensive decision. Yeah. But he's Anthony put up. Mundy a... definitely showed 
up, Barry. Every Monday, he's definitely learning the quality shots. He's still sharp in the later rounds. Yep. Their, their quality shots compared to someone who's a little bit like last time. Exactly. Which Nader Hamlin was. Even though he was still working hard. Exactly. Anthony Mundy was still had the quality there. He did. He dominated. But Nader was in it all the way and fought. He did exactly what I thought he would do. He's in the sun. Nader Hamden's children in the ring with him. Very emotional time. He, as you said, Barry has just gone the distance in a world title bout. Yep. Something he can be proud of to the, the, day, the day he dies. And his family ought to be, and I'm sure they're incredibly proud of him. Plenty of courage and determination from hand and in the, in the end, just outboxed. Just outboxed. Too much speed, too much, you know, it's a good defence and evasive ability. It's pretty much what I expected. I hope that keeps him happy. Chock just leaning over the ropes, asking our resident experts. Paul Briggs and Barry Michael, how did you score it? Well, let's see how, how close we were. You told him that you gave one gave round one to Hamden and he nodded. He said, yeah, OK. That's right. Just waiting on the scores now to confirm what we expect and I think it's time now to go to Matty Campbell with the result. Ladies and gentlemen, what a magnificent contest! Judges scorecards are in and the scores are as follows. Judge Pratasar has scored the bout 120, 108. Judge Abainza has scored the bout 117, 111. Judge Pidit Pratasar has scored the bout 119, 109. The winner, by a unanimous points decision, and still the WBA Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Anthony Vaughan Mundy! I'm sure it won't be long before we hear from both boxers as well. It'll be interesting to get their insight into whether it panned out just the way they thought. Certainly from Anthony Mundine's point of view, it did a comprehensive points victory. And as we've said all through, magnificent respect between these two fighters. Fantastic to see. With real respect, that's wonderful. I love you, bro. For giving me my shot, brother. I love you and Abs, mate. You for the best. That is good. Just hear comments there from Hamden's Corner saying, We love you, brother, for giving him a shot. Thank you. Fantastic. You're a gentleman, mate. You and your old man and Abs the best. Thank you. Put him down, put him down. Thank you. Let's see if we can squeeze Matty Campbell in amongst that crowd. Anthony. Let's hear what they got to say. Congratulations. Everyone that came here tonight expected a, a great fight, a great contest, 
and we got it. That was terrific to watch. Yeah, first of all, man, I just want to thank God. I want to um, bless us both tonight. We both come out healthy. Uh, and Nader. Hello? Yeah, Nader. Um, well, it is what it is, man. Nader, Lionheart, Hamden, you know. He, he gave me a great performance. I want to thank uh, Billy. I want to thank Billy and his team for doing such a, such a great job. Um, all the boys from Arncliff, man, I got love for you, brothers. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody that turned out here tonight, all the fans for boxing, hopefully we gave you a good night. And once again, the critics, the critics that said it's a mismatch again, you all saw a great fight tonight. So thanks very much. Anthony, given that your last couple of fights were over pretty quickly, that was 12 tough rounds. You would have, I mean, that's going to be terrific for where you go to from here. Yeah, I knew that, man. I knew, I knew Nader. I, I, I thought it was going to go 12 rounds, you know. He's prepared. He, if you ask Nader, he's prepared like he's never prepared before, you know, and um, he wasn't going to come in with the mindset that he's going to get knocked out or stopped. So it's very hard to stop someone like that. And, um, you know, he had the will of God behind him as well. But, um, you know, God, Allah willed it away, way of my, my decision. So I'm proud of that. It begs the question after having such a good fight, where to next, Chuck? Who's the next man to take on the man? Well, I don't really care, man. I'm ready for anybody. You know what I mean? I'm ready for anybody out there that, that say they're the best. Um, that was a great workout tonight with Nader. He was a world-class fighter, former number one in the world. Supposed to fight Oscar De La Hoya, but didn't come through for him. I gave him the opportunity tonight, and he, he shined through with, with flying colours. So I don't care who's next. You, are, you ask them who's next. And Nader, while I've got you, terrific sportsmanship showed by both of you at the end. You are the Lionheart. You just keep on coming. I want to thank, uh, first I want to thank God for keeping us both safe. Thank you for the patience I got. I want to thank Anthony and Team Mundane for this opportunity. No one else gave me it. During my career, it's been the most frustrating career in the world. I've mismanaged, missed everything, misdone, used, done. But I think um, Anthony now can just sleep right. Um, where do I go from here, man? I've wanted this guy for a rematch for a long time. Sam Solomon, stop ducking me, man. Find me. You say you want a rematch with Chop. Find me first and then we don't get Chop. How about that, man? Let's do it. You know what I mean? I'm just saying thank you for, for Anthony and all the guys that rid me off. You know what? Every, you, you know what I mean? Man, I'm here. I proved the heart. Determination. Thank you. Well done, Nader. Guys, right, thank you. And your fans love you as well. And my family, hey, my wife, my father, my children, my fans. Arthur, Arthur, thanks, Alec. Remember, everywhere, man, all the, all the Australian public, thank you very much. I love you. Now, so, Hendon and Anthony, the man, Mundine, one more shot. Uh, my kids, watching, watching at home, baby. Jada Rahim, CJ, I mean, Jada CJ, Malik, and, and Lil Ant. I love you. Thanks, Chuck. If you ever need another warm up, talk anytime in here, brother, just move down the road.